Hey guys, 2020 is almost here and ADSB is right around the corner. Have you looked into ADSB yet? What is ADSB? What benefits can we get from ADSB? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a live stream that I had with Mike Wheel, a buddy of mine and a fellow YouTuber, all about ADSB, weather, and how it is going to affect you as a pilot in 2020, right here on Mile High Fiber. I'm Mike from wheelinthesky.com. You can check out my channel on YouTube here, Wheel in the Sky. Uh, I do a lot of flying videos with this little bad boy right here. Uh, Seth asked me to talk about ADSB uh, and kind of my experience in it. And I wanted to invite everybody to go check out a video on my channel uh, called My Longest Cross Country, where I flew from here in Nashville all the way to Virginia Beach and back. Um, ADSB played a pivotal role in my ability to actually complete that trip. If the VFR pilot, non-instrument rated, he was a huge component of being able to dodge some weather on the way home. So what does that mean that ADS-B actually helped me on my trip? This is a picture of a storm front that was taken in Nashville the morning of August 8th when I was taking off from Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, en route back to Tennessee. I knew I was going to encounter this storm front. It was just a matter of where and trying to plan for that. So my objective was to make it to Asheville, North Carolina. About 40 miles away from Asheville, I started picking up weather from my ADSB receiver on board the airplane. It gave me a much clearer picture of what I was dealing with compared to what I last saw two hours ago. My initial idea was to try to make it around this little cell that had come up between Rutherford County Airport and Asheville, but if I had done that, I would have likely gotten caught with both of my airports being lost to weather. So instead, I decided to divert to Rutherford County and wait out the storm line to pass over there. Having that information on board was vital to doing this safely. So one last point about ADSB is there's a lot of solutions and you really need to find what works best for you. Remember that the ADSB requirement is to have ADSB out equipped on aircraft by 2020. Now that's not going to give you a data feed into the airplane like um, using a sentry box or a Stratus or having actual onboard equipment that does that. So particular to my airplane, I've got a Garmin 430 installed, but it's a non wasp So the upgrade that I'm taking is I'm gonna replace my old Narco AT150 transponder with a, a, a GTX 345, which provides ADS-B in and out um, with a Bluetooth connection that I can actually view that on my tablet. So now I will have a WAS enabled transponder that provides GPS position. It's gonna provide me real-time weather and traffic to ForeFlight on my iPad. Like I said before, do your research, find out what's gonna work best for you and the type of flying that you're gonna be doing. Okay, so uh, what is ADSB? Well, it stands for Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast. And basically, you know, ADSB is made up of three basic components. You have weather, you have traffic, and you have AHARs. First, with ForeFlight on the iPad, um, and if you pay for their subscription, you have a AHAR system, which is pretty accurate and almost instantaneous. You can see that if you're in a climb, it shows you going up. If you're in a descent down to the left, the right, very instantaneous there. It also shows you traffic. And even though I'm inside right now, um, you can see the signal is pretty strong because I have all this traffic over here. So I'm the little blue dot since I'm not moving. If it was moving, it would be a little airplane symbol. But you can see, I think this is an Emirates flight. I'll click on it here. So you can see it's uh, Emirates Flight 209 at 18,000 feet going 360 knots. And then the coolest part is that with ForeFlight you can scroll around and you can see all the different towers that are around where they are. And if there was traffic really close to you it would also show it as a little dot moving around. But um, since I'm not actually flying right now it's not showing me that. Weather in traffic is so important to us as pilots. I, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope the days of the single pilot uh, who flew into IFR and was never heard of again, I hope those days will be over with this system. And, and it gives me goosebumps and gives me chills thinking about it because I've read so many stories of people going into um, IFR, single pilot and never coming home. And it's just, it's devastating. And this system puts the, the weather in your hands. Hopefully those days are over to where you're not getting yourself into a situation where you fly into a thunderstorm and you don't get yourself into those situations anymore because you're way, way ahead of it. 
and uh, ADSB on the weather side is is providing that for pilots. It's putting that in our hands. One of one of the things that I found interesting since I started using ADSB, and, and you know, I, I talked a lot about in that video the weather component and how critical that was. There were days if there was any weather imminent, I just wouldn't fly. Um, now that's not to say that I'm going to go violate my personal minimums because now I can see the weather. I, there's still a, a key component of knowing what what you're not going to do. I'm able to see that. I'm able to watch this happen as I'm approaching it and get on the ground ahead of it. And it took. I sat on the ground for about four hours, waiting for that weather to pass. But not only now am I am I able to see it. I'm able to watch it. I'm able to see what's going on behind it and know when I'm going to be able to get back in the air. I mean that is huge safety component. In my experience, it's been really interesting to talk to people about ADSB and what their impressions of it are. Yeah, and and where they go from here. Um, I definitely think that it, it, it's a it's a key tool that that is going to make anybody a better pilot. Um, it, it's just that situational awareness, like you said. It, it, it's a huge piece of just being safe and having that extra information. You, know, you can never have too much information in, it, in communication, especially in the airplane. Um, it, it's just critical. Um, 100%. And I think that, you know, the, one of the things I said in that little video I put together is there's so many options out there. We talked a lot about the, the user receiver options here, um, but I've talked a lot about, you know, what aircraft options are. Um, if you're renting from a flight school, most likely they're going to be installing ADS-B at some point yeah. um, if you haven't purchased an airplane yet. I think that for anybody who's either owns an airplane, flies regularly, really do some research on ADS-B. You know, I went through flight training and earned my private pilot's license 20 years ago. Um, and, and there was no iPads then. The only real source for whether you had was the weather computer at the FBO. There was no Sky Vector. Um, and you definitely didn't have anything on board with you. So I, I find that the weather component of what ADSB capabilities provide to be far more significant than the traffic component. I, I, I think it's worth pointing out that pre-flight planning is absolutely imperative. You have to you have to really do that prior to you can't just jump in the airplane. And, oh, well, I'll have the weather available, you know, but knowing what you're going to be dealing with way before that point. But then. Rather than, okay, uh, two hours ago, this is what I thought was going to happen. Let's see what happens when I get there. Now I can do my flight planning, have a good idea, do my look at my weather, determine what I'm going to do. And as I'm making that flight, now I'm watching that and seeing if I need to adjust what I'm doing real time. You just don't want to jump from FBO to FBO and, and check your weather you know, as you go in that those were the old days of that. And hopefully now, um, you know, like you were saying, Mike, that, you know, you do good pre-flight planning and then it puts the weather in your hands. And from there you can really, uh, have a full picture of what's going on. And traffic. I mean, I think that that's a significant component of it too. Right. We hear of, you know, incursions and, and collisions. This, this happens. Um, and I can't tell you how many times I've been flying into the sun or something where they'll call out traffic, you know, five miles at nine o'clock. I never see them. Yeah. And, and now I at least have some kind of reference to know where yeah. they're at. I think that that's a, a huge uh, safety advantage too. 100%. I can absolutely say that that is uh, something that's happened to me. They call traffic. You look and you're like, I can't see it. It's a helicopter. It's an R44. Like, I can't see that. It's three miles away. But with ADSB, you can, and and that's a really great thing. Yep. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that conversation between me and Mike about ADSB. I just want you guys to know that this is a really important tool for you if you're going to be flying in an airplane, especially in 2020. Just remember that when you go up in the sky, and if you're flying for fun or you're flying from work, there are still people on the ground that love you and care about you, and they want you to come home every single day. So if you have any thoughts about ADSB that you want to share with me, if you like it, if you hate it, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Drop a comment below. Make sure you go and follow Mike Wheel at Wheel in the Sky. And if you get a chance, watch a couple of his videos, subscribe, and like his content. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in for that one. We'll see you for the next one. And remember, always fly that airplane to the finish every single time. Look, 
most of the time I'm only going about 20 miles an hour. Maybe. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, when, when you're transitioning from an event back to an airport to drop a banner at yeah. you know, a speed of four, <laughs> yeah. you, you really need to know if somebody's coming at you quickly. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And I hope they can see you, honestly. <laughs> but if they yeah. can't, you know, they need ADSB.